Hello, in part of this demonstration we're going to show and demonstrate the AutoStore workflow um, 6 with a barcode separation process. Um, for this particular process we are um, taking a cover sheet that was generated using um, Adobe PDF uh, where the user would fill in the patient name, uh, the year, month, and location code, and the dynamic barcodes would be uh, created uh, based off the information that was entered into the field and then print it out. Once the documents have been printed out um, on the top page, the first page in the, the batch or the uh, packet um, would be the, the actual barcode cover page. In the bottom right hand corner we have what's called a batch separator which is going to be used to separate um, multiple packets or batches of documents. So if you had three users that you were scanning in, in a single scan, um, the system would automatically uh, separate those three batches or packets into three separate documents um, based off of the, the barcode um, batch separator. And then inside each one of those packets or batches, we would have what's, uh, you know, what we're calling a static document separator. Um, and the uh, seven different types of documents that we're um, inserting or manually inserting these uh, static barcodes in front of um, would be the expenditure sheet, the handwritten patient progress notes, doctor slash dental de um, visit forms, lab results, new prescriptions, and the monthly uh, medication and um, nursing recommendations form. Additionally, it's been requested that uh, um, the system remove all the or any blank pages um, that were part of this that were created during the actual uh, scanning process, um, whether it be single side or duplex um, documents, you know, the black blank back pages or any other blank pages that, that part of the document. And um, also we wanted to remove the final documents just need to be the docs themselves and we need to remove the, um, the front hit cover page and any document separators. So in this particular process we have uh, or be demonstrating using auto capture, which is, which is the desktop client uh, capture tool. Um, the same process can be used um, using the Rico MFP. So uh, once you actually have your document built with all the separators um, uh, inserted into the, the packet, you know, put in the feeder of the, of the Rico and uh, um, scan away. Um, and then once it's been scanned or imported into the system, um, the auto store workflow application will read the first page or barcode, extract the information out of the barcodes, um, split um, them to a, um, a packet level, and then it goes to the second process, um, which is dictated here, where we'll um, read the barcode uh, separate sheets or document barcode um, separate sheets, um, extract the actual type of document it is, and then separate that document further on a document level. And then the last but third task you see here is where we're removing the, uh, the barcode sheets. Um, and ultimately, uh, all the images and data will be extracted into what you see here as far as the file format, the top folder being the patient name, then year, month, and then the type of document. Now the type of document is being extracted off of the, the actual uh, barcode from the, the document level. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it and show you what it looks like. So here we're using the auto capture. We're going to use a, just a, a sample TIFF image here. Within the sample TIFF image, I've uh, created three packets. Um, so you can see here is the first page of the, of the actual document. And then I have each one of my different document separate, um, documents um, with uh, some sample documents in between it. So I have uh, one, two, and three. Um, you notice that the information is different. So um, three different people, um, different years, different months, different location codes that we're being uh, imported in. So as I said before, I've, I am using auto capture, so we just right click on the file and say send to, monthly checklist. And then hit send. So if we go back to our auto store process, we can open up the, uh, the status monitor and uh, it's going through that process of reading the actual barcode, reading the individual pages, and again, on the packet levels first, and then once it's completed with the packet level, then it's going to go through a document level read, um, separation, and then the third task is the actual barcode removal. So if we go to the output directory, which at this point is, is blank, um, 
you know, we're going to start seeing the uh, folders being created and documents being dropped in here. Um, depending on uh, the speed of the processor, CPU, memory, and all that stuff is going to have a direct impact on how quickly this process runs. But uh, for the most part, it is, is a very quick um, you know, uh, read and extraction process. Um, the sample documents that we scan in with the three files are 45 pages long. It'll be uh, with the with the cover sheets. It's 15 pages per document. Um, but what we'll see once it starts going through the actual process, uh, we'll have a total of uh, a series of folders and maybe six or seven actual pages of documents. Okay. Now this is an example where you see here where it found uh, the packet level. So this is the actual uh, you know the the third document is just going page by page and looking for that, that packet level separation. The first process, because it's having to go through all the pages, is takes the longest, where um, the second task, which is still in the document level, is much smaller because we have obviously we have a smaller subset. Okay? And then the third process is very quick. So here we're, we've outputted the three documents. Okay, and it's going through the second stage of the process where it's splitting on the actual document. If you look closely, you can see the actual uh, different sections, so med recon for um, the, the different sections or documents. There's prescriptions, and then um, there's labs and notes. Almost done with the first one, page 13 and 14. All right, so that's the first one. Now it's going to go to task number three. You can see here where it's Pat processing the first of the three files. So we'll actually start seeing the folder structure being created here. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, example. So here's the, the patient name was Bryce Durso. The year was 2010. Uh, the month was 08. Um, and then uh, what we have here is a list of all the um, documents, you know, based off of the, the, the barcode value. And inside here we have our document. So if we open it up, we should only have just the document, no barcodes or anything, just the actual page and documents. Um, if we go up just another level, we can take a look at another section, Notes. Again, just the document. At this point, we should actually have a couple other ones coming into this uh, final directory. So here's uh, Troy Proper, um, the year is 2014, uh, month of 12. And again, just like what you saw in, in the previous uh, patient or person, you know, they have different uh, sections and the actual documents are being extracted. Hopefully this has been uh, helpful and beneficial. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know.